Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about Dolly and how you can create AI images using Dolly. Now to give you a brief history about Dolly, it was created by and released by OpenAI back in 2021. So actually it's been around a little bit longer than ChatGPT. But the whole purpose with Dolly is to be able to create AI images realistically that you can use from a description using natural language. In the past, AI programs needed machine language in order to generate images. Uh, for example, if you can think back for a time of the old Word Perfect days where you had to try to kind of use machine language, same thing with DOS and other programs before there was natural, or not natural, but graphical user interfaces. But Dolly, like most forms of AI now, use natural language in order for us to be able to interpret to machines what it is that we want to see. Now getting to Dolly is pretty darn simple. Just go to openai.com forward slash doll slash e slash two, because it's actually the second version of Dolly that's out. Now, when you go to the main site, you can do two options. You can read a little bit more about Dolly and some of the images that uh, have been released and some of the releases with it. There's an output right there of an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. But if you wanted to try it yourself, let's scroll back up and click on Dolly or try Dolly and it'll bring us up to our page. Now, for you to get into Dolly, you would need to set up an account via email or from your Google or Microsoft account to be able to log in and take advantage of these AI images. But once you're in at the main website, it's pretty easy. I won't say it's self-explanatory because there's a way that you have to be able to create your images. Now, going to the main screen, you can have two options. Number one, if you're just playing around to get an idea about AI, you can click on Surprise Me. So if we click on surprise me, it will throw out a prompt or natural language of what's going to be generated. So surprising me is going to generate a stern looking owl dressed as a librarian in digital art. Or, and if I click on generate, what it will do is it will take a few seconds, gives you a tip every time you generate images and you, after we're done, and it seems like we need to have a little timer. There are four images that Dolly normally throws up that you can um, work with. Now there are several options once you get an image done. You can click on the dots, you can download the image. If it's inappropriate, you can report the image. Uh, you also can generate variations of the image, edit the image, and open up in a new web tab. If we click on edit image, we can go through and we can do different things with our image. We can use the eraser tool, which let's say we want to erase some of that out and maybe get the owl. Um, you can also go back and get back to your original image. It says leaving this page will discard any changes. Do you want to? Yes, we do. Um, but as you can see, you can do many things with your AI tool in the form of Dolly. Now, many of you may be more familiar with other digital AI tools, but this one, Dolly, seems to be probably one of the easier ones to use. Now, unfortunately, with AI tools such as Dolly, you aren't able to, um, well, I guess you can use it free for a little bit, but you're limited on how many images you can generate a month until you pay, purchase Dolly and use the paid version of Dolly. But it's a very powerful tool, works pretty quick, and you can use it for a variety of things. Now, let's generate our own AI image. So we're gonna go back to Dolly. You don't always have to go to the surprise me. You can also type in your own image, or you can do a combination of surprise me, a cat submarine, Camera, I believe that's right, digital art. 
or you could do a dog submarine. But anyway, it gives you an idea of what kinds of things that you can do. Now, one of the things that you can do is type in your own image. So I'm gonna go a, a picture, and here's one of the key things, 3D picture of Batman fighting the Joker in Gotham City. I forgot how to spell Gotham. Anyway, we'll just, it'll, and one of the things I wanna show is it'll interpret from your words. Uh, in the rain on a roof top. So we're gonna hit generate and give it a few seconds. I always look at the tips because it can um, help you get your prompts better. And here we are. And, and as you can see, <laughs> It's not always accurate because lo and behold, there's a picture of Superman that's generating there. So that would be one of the times that you would hit the report issue to kind of report to the AI tool that there is a problem. Now you can modify your description and let's see if we can correct Gotham. There we go. And then maybe do at night, and hit generate and let's see what we get. You know, wait a few seconds and let's see what happens. And I have no idea who that guy is, but there's our image. <laughs> Sometimes you have to work with it a little, but at least you get your initial image done. Now, one of the other things I wanted to showcase with Dolly is that you have your, off to the right hand side, you have your images that you can go back through and kind of look at some of the things that you may have generated with your library and AI. As you can see, there's some Batman. There's a guy supposedly holding a lightsaber. There's Supergirl. But anyway, you can kind of see some of the images that I've messed around with. There's an alien riding a bicycle. And then, um, but there you have it. But other things that you might want to consider that you could use Dolly for are things such as social media posts. Now, if you are thinking of creating content for your social media channels, you can definitely use Dolly to create content for your social media. Good thing about it is that you can say or ask opinions about the images that you've generated with Dolly just to kind of give people an idea of what images you your imagination has created in Dolly. And that's a good thing because some of the images and some of the prompts that people use makes for good social media followers. So if you're looking for content for social media as far as using it for business, go to Dolly and generate some images and download them and share them to social media. Be sure to give credit to Dolly when you do it, however. Other things that you can take in consideration too that you could use Dolly is that you can create banners for both LinkedIn and other social media platforms that you can use. I don't know if this is necessarily an AI generated image, but this gives you an example of some of the banners that you can make uh, using Dolly in order to create for your website or from your social media pages that you can use. And speaking of websites, that's the next thing. You need graphics for your website? Use Dolly, go there, put in your content, and it will generate an image for you. Now, the good thing about natural language AI is it, you don't necessarily have to use the content that's being generated, but you can definitely use natural language AI tools such as Dolly in order to help you formulate a foundation to some of the graphical ideas that you might want to lay out. If another tool that you can use, and we may do a video on that, is Canva also allows you to generate AI content. Uh, but again, if you do it in Dolly, you can definitely use that foundation and then go to a tool like Canva or any other desktop publishing software. Is there a such thing? Well, actually graphic software that will allow you to generate content. Uh, speaking of other content. What about if you use Dolly to create a logo for your company? 
not necessarily like these here, but if you were brainstorming on a logo, before you took it to a graphic designer, you could definitely go to Dolly and brainstorm on different logo ideas that you could create uh, for your business. Now, keep in mind with all forms of AI currently right now, shouldn't say all forms, but at least with ChatGPT and with Dolly and other AI tools, you really have to be careful of the copyright laws that are concerning those AI images. You might want to consult with Dolly to find out what images you could use if, if you have to give them credit or if you can just take it as your own because there is a such thing as a Creative Commons license that you can use in order to generate content from AI and use it as your or use it, but not as your own, but obviously giving credit to whoever the author may be. So check that out before you start using those images for business. But again, if you're just playing it around um, and just want to post it on social or just see what images you can generate, by all means, make sure that you do it. And finally, keep in mind too, Dolly does not have an app like some of the other social media platforms out, not social media. I'm not talking about social media because I'm talking about business, but it doesn't have a app for the Dolly website like other forms of AI do. So keep that in mind when you're using Dolly. Now you can use Dolly through a browser on your smartphone or tablet if you want to go mobile with it, but there is no app for Dolly to download, only ChatGPT, and that's only for the iPhone. So make sure that you beware of some of the bogus apps that are out there in the form of Fleetsware that say that they are a particular AI app, but they're fleecing you out of money because most forms currently of ChatGPT and Dolly, there is no or a very minimum cost to use that software. So hope, there you have it. So I hope you learned a little bit about Dolly and how you can use it in for personal use or for business use. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you to find out how I can help you with Dolly. With, um, I don't know why I popped that up there. I'm thinking I'm grabbing the wrong graphic, but that's the one that I wanted. <laughs> so you got, if you like the video, be sure to like it, comment, share with your friends who may need to have a little refresher of what Dolly is and how it can help them. So my goal with these videos is to help you open yourself to a whole new world of ideas and experience with technology to help you accomplish your goals. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.